Welcome Pisces, I'm Juanita and we are going to look at um, what is it what it is that you need to focus on over the next two weeks. Okay, so let me just show you what cards we're using. Uh, Sacred Forest Oracle and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Pisces, let's start off here. We have Spirit Guardian of Spring. Activation. Pretty interesting because when I just looked at this card, the word spring looked like sprung. So I wonder if this you've already sprung into action maybe. But do you know what I feel like with this? I feel like this is... Like... A, um. A, a spiritual awakening, to be honest. I feel like you're on a spiritual journey, Pisces. Um, it's kind of like you've been in some kind of cocoon of some sort, maybe. Um, you've been hibernating in a sense and... This has led to this um, spiritual awakening. Very interesting, Pisces. I wonder what this swan is here. I keep thinking of the story, The Ugly Duckling, and I just wonder if you've come so far in your life um, that you have now kind of growing into this beautiful swan okay um it is just that you may not realize it yet like it's as though the swan is still yet to reach water to see its reflection so yeah very interesting pisces let's have a look pisces two cards for activation pisces please ripeness yeah, um, yeah, there's something that you've grown, there's something you've been working on, whether you've been aware of it or not, maybe it's this energy of this retreat. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of like it's time for you to harvest the fruit. Oh, sorrow. Interesting. Um, I feel like... What do I feel like? <laughs> trying to work that out. Um, two very contrasting cards here. So it could be that um, one story is pertaining to some of you and the other story is pertaining to some of you. Okay, so just take it as it fits. But I feel like for some of you, there's a new beginning on the horizon. And for others of you, you're at the end of your healing journey. Okay. And either way, um, it's like you've put some work in to nurture whatever it is you've been working on and um, and it has led to this activation. There's just this, it's like there's something that's clicking for you, okay? Uh, we've got Phoenix, transmutation. Wow, look at this, rising up out of the ashes. Do you know what, Pisces? I feel a little bit like you've the the work that you've done has caused you to to raise up so high that that the fire no can no longer burn you um it's kind of like coming from this place of sorrow and then you know using that to catapult you upwards um the other thing with that i'm just feeling like there's something inside of you which sets your soul on fire. And I feel as though there's this, um, oh, there's just something coming through about um, igniting this passion. There's a passion that 
has been ignited with in you or is about to be. We are the world. Oh, this is fantastic because this is one on from this one, right? Like everything's kind of coming together here, Pisces, and I really love this. And we've got harmony here as well. Another 10, but not the same 10, but it's still harmony after coming out of this um you know maybe this hibernation so that you can do the healing that you need is leading to this state of harmony wow pisces this is super super cool um willow spirit flexibility okay so pisces this is really about um like adjusting and um you know, like I always see this like really flowing with the winds of change, okay? Because it's like if a, if a tree refused to bend with the wind as it blew, um, its branches would break. And I feel like this is something for you. Um, I feel as though for some of you Pisces, you have just come unstuck. Like it's like something has kept you down for quite a while and you're just now becoming unstuck okay this is such a cool 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 vibe i love this i might even write that down unstuck becoming unstuck maybe we'll see because i kind of like get to the end of the reading and there's so much that comes out i'm like what do I even call that? <laughs> By the time I've uploaded it, I'm like, oh, I don't even know. I can't even remember. Um, the miser. There's um, beans. There's, yeah, there's walls that you've built around yourself. And um, I want to say, though, that... Oh, it's kind of like gathering up. It's like gathering up jewels. And even though it says the miser, I don't think this is always a bad thing. It's like you've been working on something which has led to this. The only other thing I'm getting from this though, Pisces, is that for some of you, you've built walls around you. Um, and what has in turn happened is you've caused yourself to um, become caged in. And it's like you've had this, um, this sort of like this light inside of you. That's not the right wording though. You've had this gift um, that... Okay, so sorry, let me start that again. So you've got this gift inside of you or something that you could potentially share with the world. In building these walls, which I feel is, is out of protection, um, you suppressed the gift or the talent that you had to share with the world and now it's a little bit like how do I even go about accessing that right because it's like you've gathered things on top of it all these jewels and everything and now it's kind of at the bottom of the pile and it's like I don't, I don't even know where it is like it could even be remembering that it you have that ability. Um, a little bit like this bird here. All these other birds are flying above here, right? And it's been in the cage for so long that it doesn't actually remember that it can fly, that that's its natural state. That's what it was born to do. So it's as though something that you were born to do, and it could even be your life's mission, um, has been a bit maybe lost along the way potentially i'm hoping pisces that with this activation that may activate the memory for you of what that is okay and maybe this is what that sorrow is about gratitude okay this is fantastic bluebell fury so i feel as though here pisces that this for you is about really raising up that vibration because 
just like the phoenix here by raising this vibration this will this will um lift you up okay um and this may very well be tapping into this passion um the thing that ignites your soul like sets your soul on fire type of thing in order to rise yourself up okay and that is going to help um that's going to help you to tap into whatever it is that needs to be discovered <clears throat> totality maybe you're an acrobat <laughs> Let me just clear my throat, Pisces. Sorry about that. Okay, so, um, yeah, again, I there's this energy of you're almost there. It's like, you know, these acrobats swinging back and forth to make this connection. It's like one more swing back and forward, and that connection will be made there. Okay, and... But for some of you, you might feel as though you've been doing doing that for so long, going oh eleven eleven, going back and forward for so long that you um just feel like it's never going to happen. But <clears throat> what I want to say about that is um remembering that along the way there's certain things that you've learned and certain skill as like certain skill sets that you have learned along the way to get you to where you are now okay and flexibility is one of these things okay so having gratitude for the fact that you have learned things along the way okay because these acrobats cannot make this connection without being flexible so this is incredibly important um an incredibly important message for you to make sure that you are that you are actually applying that making sure that you are adaptable to the circumstances oh my gosh transformation wow this is pretty big you know pisces this is pretty pretty freaking huge actually again rising from the ashes here man i tell you what when you discover your wings if you haven't already, you are going to take off, man. You're going to fly higher than you even you could imagine. And see here, it's like this here is just like this kind of practicing, like becoming unstuck and, and rising up and like, oh, oh, what's happening? What's happening? And then actually utilizing the use of your wings. It's kind of like there's something there's something that you have, an ability or a gift that you have that you know is there, you just need to put it into practice type of thing. Wow, this is so interesting. Wood nymph, beauty. I feel like um, for you, Pisces, this is about cleansing, okay? Um, and really about appreciating yourself, okay? Um kind of like yeah because you put yourself in a box you've kind of like gone into denial about actually you know what <clears throat> I really feel like this is about this ability that you have you deny that you possess this particular quality and you've kind of boxed it in oh my gosh hang on a minute I need to do this again Maybe it's actually speaking <laughs> and you're afraid of voicing what it is that you have the ability to do. And you've put this box around your head and you've done your typical Pisces thing of blinging it up and making out like, it's fine, no, it's all good. And putting on those rose-colored glasses, right? And um, and, and it, it's still, you're still boxed in. And... Um, and I really feel like that is, oh my gosh, it's all going on today. Um, yeah, I just kind of feel like that's, you are holding yourself down because no one else is holding this box over your head but you. 
and it could very well be that once upon a time someone placed that box over your head but now what you've done is you've blinged it up to all be okay and it's stopping you from spreading your wings and these could even be patterns that you've continued to um, to hold on to um, throughout many lifetimes I want to say um, but yeah through, throughout a lot of years and um, it's time to break those patterns now um, because I feel like Pisces it's time to enter into a new cycle okay and you need to begin to nurture um, there's there's an authentic piece of you or well, not an authentic piece that's wrong because everything about you is authentic but it's like it's like having to find the gem at the bottom of the pile which is the authentic you that you've covered up okay and and it's a matter of bringing it out and nurturing it and loving it and shining it up and allowing for it to be free. It's like this birthing of your authentic self, I feel, and really tapping into the beauty of that, okay, the beauty of who you truly are. Yeah, and shedding a light on that as well, Pisces. Okay, um, because I feel like for some of you, you only focus on the bad things about yourself, like the just the shadow self, and you're not actually looking at the good parts of you, and um, and so that causes you to bury this um this light within even more. Okay, so elves playfulness. This is this is bringing out that inner child. In a way, like I often talk about the inner child that needs healing and da 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 da, but this is about bringing in the child to have some fun, have some fun in a childlike way, really tapping into that. Um, it's like there's all these elves here having fun and playing games, and this person here is there, um, the hands you know are behind their back, and it's kind of like they're standing there refusing to join in the fun and I feel like again this is you your hands aren't tied no one's tied them you're choosing to hold them behind your back and not actually have that fun it's a bit like holding this box over your head you are making these choices to do this so it's really time to let loose and um, by doing that that's going to allow you to become more comfortable with the uncomfortable and um, and it will allow also this flexibility to be, you'll become more adaptable um, because kids just make up their own stuff, right? They make up their own games. They don't even need anything, you know? And so they're just, they're, they're going with the flow, man. They're, they're being flexible with what they have, right? And... Um, Yeah, I feel like this is about you really, really needing to let loose in, a, in, in quite a big way, you know, just to really bring that childlike, playful side of yourself out, Pisces, and give, give that permission to come out and play, yeah? And this is going to help you really tap into this master that resides within here, wow. Wow, even the master has a bit of fun, <laughs> you know. He knows, the master knows how to actually execute all this, okay. This is why the master is the master, but the master also understands that he would never, ever, ever learn everything or know everything there is to know because the master also evolves. He is ever-changing, Right, and so there's always something new to learn. Okay, so this is this is pretty neat. Just like a child, as the child grows, there's so much to learn. Okay, so we've got beyond illusion, going beyond this illusion of um, of you actually thinking that you are. Um, 
inhibited. You feel like you're inhibited. I feel like with this um, feeling of this hibernation, potentially it may have been so comfortable for you that you're keep, keeping yourself in the cocoon. But what's happened is you're actually transforming and transmuting into this butterfly. And that's going to happen anyway because you're having this spiritual awakening. Um, and I would say just take it step by step. Okay, take it step by step. For some of you, you're so blimmin' excited about this that you want everything to happen at once and hurry up. Um, but you need to take it step by step because each step is going to teach you something different. And this is what the master would do. The master knows this. The master knows that every little step has a lesson. Be it big, be it small, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter how insignificant the step appears. Those ones may potentially be the most important ones, okay? So embracing every moment of it. Okay, so standing stones, passage, your sacred passage. This is your sacred path here, okay? This is what you were born to do. This is your mission, Pisces. And I am just absolutely so excited for you. <laughs> like, seriously. Um... Yeah, see, I feel like you've just stepped aside, like you've been kind of like hiding behind that stone for so long and now you've just stepped to the side and you're ready to embark upon this path and um, interesting. Take those rose-coloured glasses off so you can see clearly. Okay, um, because for some of you, you might think that you're ready. There might just be one more step to go, okay, and then you're ready to proceed. But I notice here her feet, they're not walking forward, they're, st they're still, okay? So it's like there's just, yeah, the slowing down. You've just got to take a moment to just kind of like, it's almost like finalizing things, okay? Because this guy here, he, um, he it's like he's taken a holiday, right? He booked his annual leave. He, um, he, you know, he's like, he got his umbrella. He got his, his drink, whatever it is, margarita, whatever. He got all the outfit. He got the, the shoes. Right, he got his son, he's ready to go to the beach for a holiday. Okay, but there was one thing he, you know, and he thought, right, I'm sorted, that's all I need to do. Like, you know, forgetting about the finer details and didn't book himself a flight. Okay, and so now he's stuck at home. So he's like, I just have to pretend I'm at the beach now, even though I'm sitting in my kitchen. Right, so this is what I feel like. Just make sure that you are actually finalizing things and and go over everything with a fine tooth comb and um take the box off your head so you can see and just um yeah th this is what this patience is too just have patience and slow down so that you can just take care of everything that needs to be taken care of okay and then you can step forward okay um your mind, your there's kind of like, let me just see, I need one more card for this. Oh yeah, okay. Your mind is, um, it's kind of like this, this there's this, uh, not overthinking, but maybe negative thoughts that are clouding your judgment right now. And you need to become aware of those. You need to be aware of what it is that you're thinking and speaking, okay? Because with this new journey, what you want to do, Pisces, is build yourself a solid foundation here. Um, and if, you know, there's this stinking thinking going on, um, that's not going to be solid. So make sure you hold your awareness, um, dropping all thoughts from your mind into your heart, okay, um, to bring your awareness into focus so that you can, um, so that you can clear the way. And this also may help you to finalize these details, okay? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, Pisces, a thicket of thorns, uncertainty. Some of you are not sure which direction to go in. Some of you are unsure what the best thing is for you. And this could be from this kind of energy here, okay? Um, and not tapping into this awareness. Um, and I really do feel like this gratitude is going to help you to clear this. If you're grateful for what it is you have, for what you are experiencing and what you have experienced, even if those experiences caused you sorrow, there were still things for you to learn along the way. Okay, so I think that this gratitude is incredibly important for you. Okay, um, uncertainty, this is also where your flexibility comes into play. Okay, being adaptable so that if things change, you're prepared and you're ready to go with the flow and the playfulness is going to help lighten this mood okay it's also going to give that kind of adventure sense about it so rather than being like oh, I don't know what to do I don't know it's like oh let's try this and and see where that takes us like what adventure will we go on if we do this and what adventure will it be if we do this type of thing yeah so really um making sure that you are yeah lightening it i just feel like it needs to be lightened because otherwise this is not going to actually be cleared okay one more card for uncertainty for pisces we do have suppression here um which again is very where is it now see i throw the cards around and then i can't find them when i need them this for me, feels a bit like this here. Um, these thoughts really weighing you down and keeping you um, tied into this energy, and that's not what you want. You don't want that burden, Pisces, okay? And maybe that's what that uncertainty is, um, you know, like being unsure. I mean, I get that sometimes change can be scary and new beginnings can be scary, Um but the thing is, if you, it depends on how you approach it. And that is up to you. That is your choice, okay? Yeah. So um, you see, this master, he's, to me, is this dude. Right. To me, same dude, but he hasn't got a hat on. And so he sees this grasshopper here um, as something that can teach him what the best thing is like he's he's forever seeing himself as the student type of thing and you could be um you know at a place in your life where you feel like I'm no longer the student like I'm now you know um you know it could be you're you're an adult you're a parent whatever whatever but there is still stuff to learn and um and and stuff to learn from all this you know, in breaking those cycles and maybe the grasshopper or maybe there's something again back to this things, these things that seem very insignificant. Um, these may be the things that you need to pay most attention to. Also, I want to say is this, if you're a parent, um, this may also be looking at your children to see how it is that they apply this playfulness okay and and see that is that they could actually teach you that you know you could get down and, and be like teach me how to play this game right and um or even asking you know like someone who you think wouldn't even have the foggiest of what the best thing to do would be in this situation say what would you do if it was you and put it in a way that they might understand you know theoretically and and just see what the answer is and see if there's something you can pull from that you know and dragonfly spirit change yep a definite change coming in here and change is always good always good 
okay um this could be also quite an emotional change as well um let's just see more things for change for more things give me more <laughs> i'm just trying to get i'm just trying to get the message clearly for you pisces oh almost flipped up change for pisces tell me more about this okay oh there we go going with the flow yep new 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 beginning new beginning um new beginning in love new beginning in something passionate and experiencing i feel like this is something you really need to embrace whether you want it or not this is something you really need to embrace okay it really it is a matter of going with the flow and realizing that um that this is only going to benefit you so every step of the way being grateful for each lesson that you have uh have been given okay and remembering to be flexible so that's something that you can be working on the next two weeks is raising that vibration and um and just really i feel like the playfulness is something that you need to really um make sure that you're applying to your life okay so that whatever change is happening for you pisces you're going to be able to to move with the current rather than resisting the current okay okay pisces good luck with that i hope that helps please subscribe and like and comment and share um because the whole idea is to help people and um by doing that you'll be able to help them too okay pisces thank you see you bye